It is another exciting morning in beekeeping life. We've just had a phone call from the post office and the queens have arrived that we've ordered from over in the Bunya Bee Company. So we're just scooting into town to grab them. And um, yeah, so then we'll do some splits this afternoon. Well, we probably set up some, some splits because it's going to be jolly hot here again in the Riverland as it does. And then tomorrow morning we'll get the girls organised and change up a few hives down at the bush. We should be cool. And so anyway, exciting times. Here we go, getting the ladies. Just thought I'd show you this side. So that if the cameraman has to film from a distance, because you know he's might be not authorised. <laughs> Cool, thank they've you been, very much. They've been chilling out in they the air anyway. They've been relaxing, that's the yeah. way. Get them done. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, thanks champ. We'll probably no have another lot next week, so no we should be all good. Deliver quickly. The first lot of these I ordered took them a week and a half to get in, <laughs> so that was a bit of a worry. They were looking a bit sad, but these are really good now. We order, order them and they ship them on Monday and we get them on Wednesday. So it's pretty amazing that they can send that crap in the post though, isn't it? Isn't that pretty cool? Check this out, live queens. Be a bit crap if they were dead queens, wouldn't it? But anyway. Morning. How you doing? Good, yeah, not too bad. Apparently, if you listen just right, but they might not do it, but they sometimes the queens do what's called piping, because they're singing to the to their new friends. But more often than not, they're in there in the hive. They go do a little, got the different sound buzzing. But anyway, we'll go and unwrap the little ladies, put them in the house because it's going to be a lovely warm day here today. Oh. Yeah. See, they've got just a normal post pack and they've got a little air holes cut in it, little triangles, so they can let the air in. Pretty clever, isn't it? Okay, here comes the big unveiling. See if the quick delivery worked. Heck, these are my wife's chicken cutting scissors. Oh, look at that. It's a mystery. They're in toilet rolls. That's why they're different. <laughs> We're going straight down the toilet. <laughs> oh, well, normally they're in like cool little packets. That's pretty cool. Ta-da! What are you doing to me, Ned? How the fuck did he get them in the air so clear? It's pretty smart, isn't it? Here we go, here we go. Look at them go. Look at them go, guys. So how cool is that? He's put them in toilet rolls this time, like to protect them. Quite often they're like in a, just a longer box. I don't know, I suppose a proper postage box. But this is kind of cool. Now what we're gonna do, being that it's gonna be crazy hot here today, I think we'll just put them out and we'll get ourselves set up and do the transfer tomorrow morning. But so far they look good. Do you like these little boxes that they come in? How cool is that? How cool is that? That's the wax flakes that they, that they normally would make that you normally don't see because in the hive, by the time they flake them off, and then they roll them into the ball to make their honeycomb and brood comb, but they must have been so well fed that on the way here they've made some wax flakes that have been lost in, well, all over my wife's kitchen table, so she'll be real pleased. But how cool are that? Look at that. That's really awesome. You know, it's interesting because I was reading the book, Dr. Langsworth, the original beekeeper man who wrote the first book in the 1850s, which is pretty cool. His mate, someone with an N, Norred, Norred? Anyway, his mate did an experiment to find out, because the beekeepers of old didn't know how they made wax. And so they thought they was collecting um, saps from the pine trees and from the other trees and mixing it with pollen and creating the wax comb. But it turns out that when they're well fed, they just make flax, wax flakes that come off their bodies and then they all collect them up and roll them into a ball and then they shape them into the honeycomb that we use today. So how amazing creatures are these things? Tell you what. It's nice to be loved by your family. My dear daughter is concerned about me down here in the heat with my bee suit getting dehydrated. So she got me this camel back, which is what they use when they go bike riding. And so I can fill it up with water and obviously put it on my back and I got my little sucky hose here. I don't really know how that works, but we'll find out. Looks like a contort. Hello, hello, hello. Give me some water, give me some water. No, it won't be hard to know. Do you suck on that or what do you do? That's gonna be weird. It looks like it tastes like plastic. Hang on, what's that on-off button? That's fucking cool. Anyway, 
So she's going to keep me alive, she reckons, down here in the desert. So I'm going to. So if you see me sucking on my little tube, you will know what's going on. So we're just going to set this up and put some brood frames above the queen excluder, so we can come down here tomorrow and do some splits. I would do it all in the one go, but it's so jolly odd here. We'll do it to do this afternoon and get ourselves set up. And tomorrow morning we'll just come down and whack them together, cart them around to their new home and be done with it. So hopefully we don't get too many bee stings while we get this organised. <laughs> And these girls are about ready for an explosion. See what I mean? Though? They're a bit more excitable. They're ready for a top, aren't they? Oh, we better remember that tomorrow. So we got a thing, which has probably been on the agenda for a little while. We bring a super down for this one. We might even steal some out of there, but that's yet to be determined. So if you remember young Bill down in Adelaide who caught these swarms for us, these are his bees, and they are going off tap down here in the bush. Look at them go. They're actually, I think they're, the downside to them is they're a little angry, and, but they're bloody awesome at getting the honey in. Um, and I just found a queen cell in this one here, and it's late in the summer, so they're thinking about racking off. So it's good we're doing a split with them. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to watch an eye, keep a close eye on them during the spring. But I was going to, like, requeen them completely, but they're so productive, I'm almost tempted to put up with their angriness. So, unless one of us gets stung to death, We'll keep them going, I think. <laughs> well, mainly because uh, I want to get some more bees, and I and I was just sort of thin these girls out a little bit because they're a little bit grumpy. But hell, they're pretty productive. Well, they've done a good job down here. They've got a nice lot of honey, but they're just a little bit cranky. <laughs> That's why we're just going to take a few frames off and just use their brood pretty much to make a split rather than actually wiping them out completely. Oh, shit, that's heavy. Now you see them really get crazy, get into the brood nest. This is why you gotta do something about it, because they're not work. Like we were doing at home there, you could split these off and just let them rear their own queen, but I don't know that I want these guys to rear their own queen with this lot. <laughs> no, okay, we've got nothing up the top. Which is probably all right. What have we got down here? <gasps> Holy smokes! Look at that lot! Hello! Hello everybody! Who's excited? You are now! <laughs> Do that. Give it there! You see they're a bit toey this lot. Really suck if you're killer in this project. Air conditioner on. You know, we've got pretty cooler happening. This bloody man here even comes and wrecks the place. Have a look at that. That'll do. Borrow that one. Oh, I suppose I'd be a bit crazy too. Some human beings coming here messing with my life. some new leaders tomorrow so we're going to do just to take the nukes out of some of them and this one we're going to make three splits I reckon 
out of what's in there because there's a fair few bees in there and then we'll have some happy new bees that's the plan anyway